Good morning from Taos, New Mexico, and welcome. I'm Lisa with Swifty Travels, and in this video, I wanna give you a tour of the newly remodeled Taos Valley Lodge. This hotel used to be the El Camino Lodge. It's been on the main drag in Taos uh, for a long, long time, and it was taken over by new ownership in 2016. They renamed it and rebranded it in 2018, and they are currently remodeling the property, and they are doing a fantastic job. They have really improved this property, and I'm so excited to show you. So come along for this tour of the Taos Valley Lodge. After a few hours of driving from Albuquerque, up the low road to Taos along the Rio Grande, I enjoyed a warm welcome at the Taos Valley Lodge with super friendly service. I arrived just in time to catch golden hour on Wheeler Peak. There was incredible views right from the room. The remodel includes new paint, new carpet, new countertops and vanity, new shower with new tile in the shower. The rooms are sparkling clean and very cozy decor. Remodeling of the rooms is currently underway and it's slated for completion by the end of December 2021. All rooms come with a mini fridge and a microwave, ironing board and hair dryer, and there is a laundry mat on site for those who are staying for longer visits. For those of you that bring your pet to this property, it's $12 a day, which is a really inexpensive pet fee for this lodge. And they have these stations here all along the fence where your pet can do their business and you can clean up after them. The only place they have, uh, you know, they don't want pets doing their business is right in between the main building and where the rooms are. You know, it's a kind of a nicely decorated little area. They don't want pet surprises in there. about that coffee shop. The variety of drinks they have is amazing. And the coffee flight is something I haven't seen before. I've only seen at breweries and I'm so excited to try that. I'm gonna try that this afternoon. It's kind of stormy, a little off and on rainy today. The first really cold temperature of the fall. They have a fireplace going in the coffee shop and I can't wait to try their flights. Now some changes to this hotel because of coronavirus. New Mexico has been very strict. Masks are still required indoors. This is October of 2021. This is currently where we're at. This property does have a pool and hot tub. However, it is closed because of the virus. They've drained the water out of the pools for now. We'll be back later. Housekeeping is only on request or in between stays. So whatever you need, just let the front desk know. They're more than happy to accommodate your needs. They do have a grab and go station for convenience right in the front of the hotel in the lobby. So if you don't find what you need at the coffee shop in the morning for breakfast or you need a snack midday, you can stop there to get a bite to eat. The location is very convenient. Taos's main drag is currently under construction and you can expect heavy traffic uh, right in the center of town through the plaza. So this is just south of that, so you can come and go from the hotel with ease. Um, don't have to worry about traffic. And there is an Albertsons right across the street. There's a grocery store, there's some food trucks, and you know, there's a lot of places to eat in the area. This patio also makes this such a fantastic place. And on the opposite side of the hotel, they actually have picnic benches and some barbecue grills. If you're staying here for a while or you're with a group and you wanna have a gathering, it's a really nice place to hang out. They have really made this a fantastic place to stay in Taos, New Mexico. Rain has made it to Taos, and I bet in the morning Wheeler Peak is gonna be covered in snow. That'll be a pretty view in the morning. 
And you know, there's something to be said for having a parking spot right in front of your room. The convenience of that, I really like that. So as you know, this place has an amazing coffee shop and I am headed down right now to try one of the coffee flights. I've been savoring this moment, saving the best for last. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. And what's your name? Julia. Julia. You must see Julia. She is just does magic in here with this coffee. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm going to save the chai for last. It has a pretty strong flavor and I don't want it to influence the other flavors on the flight. start with. That's the prettiest, so I'm going to save that one for next to last. So let's start with the cold brew with pumpkin foam. That is delicious. It's cold brew coffee with just a hint, just a hint of pumpkin. Four is the maple latte. Cheers. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. Mmm, that's super sweet. Very tasty. Now the pumpkin latte. Sprinkle of nutmeg on top. That's better. I actually like that one better than the maple. I do have a spoon. I think I'm going to need it for the, the Biscoff latte. Now these look like those little cookies that you get on uh, Delta Airlines. In American Airlines, they give you those little cookies. They're real gingery, cinnamony. I think my favorite of the bunch is the pumpkin, the pumpkin latte. Now I happen to be a huge fan of pumpkin spice anything, so I'm a bit biased. I hope you stop in and give it a try. 